Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 731 of Fallout 4. Last episode, Fizz Top Mountain, talking to, uh, was it Nisha? The crazy peoples of the disciples. Oh, they're kind of weird. Man, this is a waste of time. Hi, you're, you're an operator in the, like, an all-disciple area. What, what, are you, what are you doing here, buddy? Never did get why Coulter brought in three gang to claim Nuka World. I mean, he had us. Don't need the rest. This dude seems salty. Are you, you gonna talk hey. to me? Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, how high were they when they built this place? What are you doing? Understanding the operators ain't hard. We know how to live. The other gangs... Okay, this guy can just sit here and be a douche. I don't think he wants to talk to me. But yeah, we were talking to the leader of the Disciples. We actually picked up a quest from Nisha. Looted all of the crap that they were there. Went through a whole slew of hollow tapes and all kinds of other fun stuff. Well, again, looting and looting and looting. I have so much valuable junk in my inventory right now. It is absurd. I really need to find some kind of settlement to uh, to, to, to work with here. I don't know if it's going to happen, but that is where we are in the scheme of things. Anyway, guys, if you enjoy the Fallout videos, I do appreciate those of you who have been taking the time to like the videos. And I thank you guys for that support. Let's be honest here, Fallout gets like three people that watch it, and it feels bad, man. But, uh, yeah. Thanks, dudes. Hey, are you, you going to talk to me? Oh, I wouldn't let me save there, but okay. I'll spam the save button. Things are boring nope. as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Oh, shut up, generic scaver. There's a bajillion... Get out of the way, dog me. There's a bajillion of you, and you all say the same three dialogue options. Okay, so we're out of there. Who's the closest? It was the operator. So the operators are the people like that, like that dude we were just talking to. Apparently the people who like the money, money, money's the dollar, dollar bills. And then the pack is like the the crazy dudes. Uh, yeah, the, the bad shit crazy people is, is kind of what we're coming up on here. I wonder if all this stuff's going to respawn in the future. I have no idea. There is so much. Like, there's just an absurd amount of just... <laughs> <laughs> Absolute garbage everywhere in the main spot of Nuka World. Like, I wonder what I'm gonna find when I start venturing out of this area and I go encounter some like the new enemies and whatnot. Ugh. Carrying too much and I can't run. I, ne I never, never would have imagined that I, that I of all people, that last one died shut too up, fast. would be carrying too much and can't run. Is it right here? Yeah, it's right here. Okay, so these should be the operators, hey? Okay? You can head on in, over boss. You damn right I can head on in. I can do whatever I want. So like, this is a mannequin. So you, you cut the mannequin's neck and then put fake blood on it. Ah, <sighs> these these guys are too much, man. They they hurt my brain. I thought about trying my hand at the gauntlet oh, just nose. to see if I could do it. Waste of time now. No one's topping your performance. Whoa, 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 Did someone drop, did someone drop a clothing, clothing iron on your, on, on your face? Um, I'm sorry for your loss, ma'am. I, I, I am sorry for your loss, madam. Not supposed to hurt the other gangs. No rule against tricking them into hurting each other, though. Someone was ironing some clothes, and then all of a sudden, something slipped, someone got banged in the face, and thus she was born. He, and she's just a generic one, too. She's a she's a survivalist. She's not like a like a named one. Bunch of amateurs so you're just a veteran up. with a, a Overboss, pink mohawk. Making trouble. Good. These guys seem less dickish, at least up front. I'm sure they're all going to be an equal amount of dickish, but the disciples were just like... Eh, I probably shouldn't have done that. The, 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 the disciples are just weird to me, man. Can I get in there? Well, I certainly can because those items are accessible. Like, I, I can pick them up. Uh, I see a hole in the wall. I'm guessing this way? Let's see here. Is this just the bathroom? Does this loop around? Ah! Swell. I figured I'd loot the stuff before I walk in there and talk to that person. Because, I mean, I'm super overweight anyway. I don't know if all these radios are driving me nuts. It's like the same guy singing around. He keeps reminding me of Alex Jones. I don't know. His voice just kind of comes off that way. I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens, guys. I'm not saying tinfoil hats, but it's tinfoil hats. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Some people will know what I'm joking about. <laughs> Others, maybe not so much. You could call it dark. Oh, baby. Oh, good. All right. My, my beer. This beer seems to be an incredibly common item in this place just just beer for days so what is this like a toy shop absolutely some kind of souvenir shop 
I wonder where all this stuff scraps down to. Dog meat found something? Oh, a raider chest piece I can sell. Dog meat, you mean to tell me you found something in this mess? Go figure, right? Go figure. Like, what, what, what do you, what did you see in here that was considered valuable? Uh, I'm not really seeing what you consider valuable, but I, but I spam D and I think I looted a dog meat. So excuse me there, buddy. I don't need any of that stuff. I do need that blast board. Give me that, uh, that nuclear material, though. I absolutely will take that. I, I honestly, that's not something I, you get a lot of. Nuclear material. Like, really. Honest and for truly, for as long as I've been playing and as much as I've looted, it's not an item that I've got a lot of. Alright, so I got the vast majority of that crap. We'll continue, like, looking down there later. Let's, um, let's go talk to the, whatchamaduhiki over here, the operator boss man. Remember? You won't see hidden oh, hey, codes without the glasses. You know, Make sure you're wearing them while you search. It's a really weird thing to say that she comes off at least at face value as the most normal person here. And that's saying something? Cuz she's 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 Thanks and William normally have me. She's 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 pretty out there, man. <laughs> this nuclear world place is kind of strange. So far is that he's got that pit boy on his arm. So is a vault dweller. Or ice a vault dweller. Hmm. You can go. Okay. I mean, I, I have iced a few vault dwellers. I'm not gonna lie. But I am also a vault dweller. Or was. Hey. We'd all considered putting a bullet in Coulter's back at some point. Suppose you just beat us to it. What the hell? You see that? Like, she moved. Oh, Dogmeat probably pushed her. You know, Dogmeat, what are you doing to that lady? I don't, I don't know about you, but she comes off as, like, emo. Like, I don't know, she's got, like, that eyeshadow stuff and everything like that. And the, just the hairdo. She looks like she belongs in My Chemical Romance. Not that I don't like listening to some My Chemical Romance songs, but, uh, that's just, that's just the way she looks. I mean, you too, you kind of got, like, the sleep-deprived eyes. Like, what's what's going on here? Am I, am I, am I joining a cult? You, you, like, shank me? Can I, can I take that knife? Um, how is this a training dummy? What's this supposed to accomplish? Gimme! Alright, well, it doesn't look like I can take his knives. So, he can keep his knives. What do you got here? Typewriters? Cool. Service! Housekeeping! What are you walking backwards for? Hey there. I thought about trying my hand at the gauntlet just to see if I could do it. <laughs> Waste of time now. No one's stopping your performance. Well, I mean, I'm kind of amazing, so there's that. Okay, let's just go talk to her. Mags. Hey, Mags. God, like the, the mm. lighting is not kind in Our here. new boss. You're going to want to talk to Mags. Shut up, William. Hey. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> A clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know. She's looking away from what me. What did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really feel much, because I kind of critted him in the head with a Goss rifle, and he died instantly, and it really was not very personal. Eh. Bored? Kind of like this conversation, now that you mention it. Hey, you don't get to talk to Max <laughs> that way. It's all right, William. Regardless... Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Dollar dollar bills? Making money? Exactly. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountain top. And that means mountain if top. you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. 
<laughs> of their fucking money. Well, at least she's blunt. <laughs> at least she's blunt. My goal is to use this place to make all the money I can. Well, it's about damn time. Hmm. I look forward to seeing your claims put into action. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. And we'll all be anxiously awaiting getting this place back to doing what it does best. Pack act like rabbit animals. Ought to be dealt with the same way. So far, the, the operators are the only people who dress... Okay, okay. The out of the three, they're the people who dress the most n normal. Like you got people wearing like weird rags and like cage bars and things around their head, you know, like the pack or whatever. The disciples with their awkward helmets and the blood everywhere. I, I, I don't know. Like these guys at least dress a little, a little nicer. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying they're good people, but uh, they, they, they at least dress a little bit better. What did it say? What was that called? Good-looking guys' notes. Wait, wait. Really? Good looking guy's notes. Hey, I know you're an operator and I'm packed, but that ain't me. We can't be friendly or whatever. I saw the way you were looking at me. I'm hoping for crossing enemy lines if you know what I mean. Meet me in the hub after sundown. I know a place we can go. That good looking guy with the... Are you kidding me? The blue hair. You couldn't just put blue hair on that line, Bethesda. Alright. Pissed off guy's notes. Very funny. I really thought we had something going here. You ops are all the same. Screw you. If I ever see you again, I'll slap a collar on you. We'll see how you like that. Pissed off guy with the blue hair. <laughs> so so we, got, we got like a lover's quarrel here. Nice, uh, Nuka Cola Quartz. Nuka Cola Quartz looks so fancy. I don't, I don't know if I drink something called Quartz. That kind of sounds weird. I feel like I'd be drinking like rocks, but okay. Uh, parlor employees terminal. We'll read this. We'll talk to William. So apparently William and Mags are bro and sis. Tonight's production is the Phantom of the Nuka. Really? The Phantom of the Opera? Is that is this what we're is this what we're joking about? Performance list. This year's performances will be the Phantom of the Nuka, the best little Nuka house in Boston. A soft drink named Desire. Fizzy Rob. Phantom of the Nuka, the Phantom who lives in the catacombs beneath the bottling plant, longs to find a drink that can satisfy his 300-year-old thirst. Due to the, his horrific appearance and his self-imposed estrangement from society, his hopes of getting his hands on Nuka-Cola seem impossible until the plant hires the beautiful, uh, the, the beautiful Christine. The Phantom is captured by Christine and hatches a scheme that he hopes can unite the two of them together to quench his thirst for Nuka-Cola before his body dries up and withers away. Oh my god. The best little Nuka house in Boston. Miss Nona Strangely runs a Nuka house, a soft drink establishment that she built outside of Boston. She wants to serve all of the locals delicious Nuka Cola 24 hours a day, but crusading television reporter who thinks milk is healthier for your body wants to shut her down. It's up to Miss Strangely and her friend at the local sheriff to stop the reporter in his tracks before it's too late. Ay ay ay, a soft drink named Desire. Uh, Kim and her husband Tom work at the local Nuka Cola plant. Tom and Kim are responsible for coming up with new flavors, but have been stu uh, stuck for over a month. If they don't come up with a new flavor soon, they're afraid they'll both be fired. Enter Vivian, Kim's sister from, small from small town Mississippi. Uh, with her southern charm and her bigger than life personality, she moves in with Kim and Tom looking for a better life in the big city. Together, the three of them learn that the best flavor can't come from hard numbers and science. It's all about happiness, togetherness, and friendship. Oh my god. Fizzy Rob, the quantum maker of Sweet Street. Fizzy Rob runs a drugstore with his assistant, Miss, Miss Lovett, where he ser er, yeah, my, yeah, Miss Lovett, where he serves delicious and refreshing Nuka Cola. His customers love the place, but they're longer uh, they're longing for a new flavor, something eye catching and amazingly bold. In desperation, Fizzy starts sending random ingredients down a chute to Miss Lovett, whose laboratory is in the shop's basement. Lo and behold, after mixing all the ingredients in her cauldron, Miss Lovett is startled to see a beautiful blue glow. Is this the start of a taste? Wait, is this the start of a taste sensation that will propel Fizzy? Oh my God! Fizzy shop the new heist. Is that how Quantum came to be? Is that what this is? Parlor management uh, number 37. Well, the cut and staff are going to have to ask all of the stage technicians to perform janitorial work. That means sweeping, cleaning dishes, fixing minor damage, and cleaning up the main dining area. And before you all come gr call, all come grumbling, remember that you're all lucky to have a job at all. According to Mr. Hugsley, the, par uh, the parsley, the parsley, the parsley, the parsley, the parlor is one of the more expensive attractions at the park with the worst visitor turnaround. I'm doing everything I can to keep us open. I just need your help. Parlor management memo number 23. With the Halloween spooktacular coming up next month, we all need to strike the best little nuka. Uh, we all need to wait. We need to strike all the best little nuka 
house sets and start working from the Phantom of the Nuga sets immediately. We usually have the sets under construction in the backseat areas a month before show, but no one has had the time. Looks like we're working after hours this week, folks. Come see me for specific assignments. Project management memo number what? 19. I know that the best little nuka house in Boston features all sorts of foot stomping musical numbers, but we cannot allow guests to get up on the tables and dance. We've had far too many people slipping and falling. If you see a guest standing up on any furniture, kindly ask them to be seated. And that is all she wrote. So are you going to say anything to me? Operators got no tolerance for dead weight. Those who can't cut it, they're gone. Hey, William. Mags always saw the potential in this place, and she doesn't steer us wrong. Any operator gets caught breaking the peace, I'll punish them myself, boss. Can't let them think it's all right to get caught. Should be a couple odd jobs available if you want to get your hands dirty. Talk to Mags. William. Any operator gets caught okay. breaking Seems the peace, I'll punish them myself, Seems to be all he's got. Talk to me. Can you get out of my way? Um, I'll never right grasp the caught. allure of the other gangs. Nothing but targets with fur and trash piles with attitude. Damn, savage. Hey. Hmm. You know, I've got a job set aside that I think you might find stimulating. Ooh. If you're interested. Is it your butt? <laughs> What's happening? The pack continue to be a thorn in our side. We've turned up the name of one of their fixers. I want them convinced we'd make better allies. Make him wear this shock collar. You can either sneak up to him and attach it, or beat him into submission and then do it. Who am I up against? Someone who's earned it. I wouldn't worry yourself much beyond that. Sign me up. Then I'll leave you to it. Okay then. Collaring outside the lines. Ha! <laughs> Coloring outside the lines. Collaring outside the lines. Ah. Am I getting in trouble for this? Let's just see how this goes. Ooh, ooh. I was on to something like right there to start it off. It's close. Close, but no cigar. He tried a swing and a miss. Come on, come on. It's, it's just it's just a master lock. Jeez, man. Got it. Yeah, you guys don't seem to care. Okay, it's mine now. I'm going to sneak in here and steal all your shit. I guess this is Mag's room. Yes. Mother, it's Max. Mother, it's Max. Ooh. Thank you so much for your tape. It kept William, Lizzie, and I very entertained during our time in the holding cell. We found the part about refusing us our inheritance particularly amusing. Because that money is ours. Years we spent under your thumb, trying to be the perfect little doll we always wanted. Both have the scars to prove it. So if you think we didn't earn every cap that's due to us, then you're even dumber than I thought. We're coming for those caps. And there's nothing you can do to stop us. Coming for that bum, there's nothing you can do to stop us, swiggity swooty. <laughs> Money brings out the worst in people. That's true. That's true. Yes. My stuff now. <laughs> Maggie, it's your mother. I want you to know, your father and I, we take no pleasure in this decision. But at this point, we don't have a choice. You and Bill have dragged the black name through the muck for the last time. What they say you two and that Wyeth girl did to those classmates of yours. True or not, defending you both again and again. It's gotten to the point we can barely do business in this town anymore. You two have cost us so much. And are you repentant? Are you sorry? Of course not. Well, we are through defending you. You're going to accept the exile the town demands. You're going to leave Diamond City for good. And you will never, ever see another cap from your father or I again. You had every chance in the world to make this right, Maggie. Well, we are done giving you chances. Say still, dog meat. I'm trying to give you the doggy collar of shame. Yeah! Oh, oh, it just, it just went through him. I was trying to give him the doggy collar of shame. Hold still. Hold, hold, hold still. <laughs> He's got the cone of shame. It just keeps pushing him. <laughs> so interesting. They apparently came from Diamond City? That's a little, that's a little weird. Okay. 
An expert terminal. Salvaged. Missiles. Could be the E, could be... what else? Nothing? I don't know, missiles. Wondered. ED at the end? Uh, probably is not wondered because of the A. Okay. You know, you don't want ED. ED is a bad thing. Followed. Again, the ED, the L. Okay, so... I guess it could technically be... Nah. Mistakes. Mistakes. So let's see here. What was it followed again? Salvage? No, salvage was a good one. Uh, e, salvaged, A? N no. Horribly. Hmm. Denied. Consists. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mulligan. I'm gonna redo. I'm gonna redo. I lost track. Wreckage. Okay, troubles. Could be troubles. No. R. Actively. Could be actively. Nope. But close. Thinking. Thunking emoji. Can't be the I, can't be the H, can't be that, so it can't be thinking, wondered. N no, can't, can't be that either. Boy, howdy. Metallic. Metallica? Could be the... No, can't be the L. Can't be the I. Could be the T. Wow. Okay, so so metallic. Fatality? Yeah, I'm just looking for a word that's close, not close to it. Nisha Disciples. Taken by raiders at a young age, believes deeply in the power of violence, uh, makes her dangerous advers makes her a dangerous adversary. That said, her penchant for justice among her own stole gang from previous leader by gaining their respect rather than through graft or de deception. Uh, Irritantly, what kind of who 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 uses that word? Irritatingly, I, I, who's I, I don't I don't know who starts it with irritatingly. Irritatingly, and who starts the sentence? Come on, quit making me read big words. It's too late at night for me to be reading big words. Okay, fine. Irritatingly hard to exploit people like that. I don't know why I made a big deal about it, but I did. Ultimately, acts as a stabilizing agent among the disciples. Me and Nisha's place and her hierarchy should not be tampered with. Dull but the right move. Any other disciple in that role would likely lead to utter havoc. Dixie springs to mind. Yeah, Dixie's kind of crazy. We've listened to her holotapes. Dixie, disciples. True psychopath. Clever, devious, bloodthirsty. Suspects she's responsible for the death of at least three operators since our arrival. Very likely more. Takes and treasures souvenirs from her victims. Someone meddled with her toys might not uh, might be able to get her to do something rash. Should need should the need arise. Granted, her current position by Nisha probably to support the girl's vanity. Much less likely to turn on her boss if she thinks she's respected. Thanks to that, she does seem to honor Nisha's authority. Doesn't appear to have plans to claim leadership for herself. Best of all, uh, best for all of us that stays that way. Savoy, disciples. Nisha's enforcer, fiercely loyal. Likely the only reason the man's been given a place of prominence among their little coven. Had one of her girls attempt to seduce him, see if we might be able to sway him as a contact, but to no avail. Had one of the boys try too, similar results. Suspect he's probably working for slash with the only person he has eyes for. Would explain the loyalty. I mean, let's be honest here, Nisha kind of got the, the hoo-hahs. So, I may, may, maybe, maybe Savoy is loyal to the hoo-hahs. Mason, Peck. Current Peck Alpha displaced his two predecessors by tarring and feathering them, sending them out into the wastes. Pack law states the members can only shame another, never kill. Both former alphas were never heard from again after being given the boot. Acquiring proof of their deaths could be useful leverage. We'll send out a search party to see what they can turn up. Otherwise, a man's more nuisance than threat, like the rest of the pack. Like, I, I, like they're, they're cliff notes that are like, that lack grammar in some lines and then immediately have a bunch of punctuation and like apostrophes. Like, their, their, their grammar structure is so inconsistent that it makes it really weird to, we, uh, to weed, to read. Kind of awkward. Gage, unaffiliated. One half of the alleged masterminds of the Nuka World plan clearly is much of a rube as the rest of us. It does seem uh, so like he honestly believed in Coulter. Now, though, he just seems worried he's going to share Coulter's fate if things don't get back on track. Not wrong. Undoubtedly moved this new overboss to protect his own neck. However, man generally... See, like, instead of the man? However, man generally does not appear to believe that Nuka World can be used to make us all rich. So that he does have some value. Like, yeah. Coulter, idiot. No one's problem anymore. Okay, that's true. They just, it's kind of, kind of awkward to read when, when one moment we're punctuating and we're, we're using grammar, and one moment we're not. And Lizzie. All you have to do is hear them speak to know they weren't born into this life. Where'd you pull that rifle they from? Sure as hell, we're born for it. Pack uh, act like rabid animals. Ought to be dealt with. The I think he pulled that out of his butt. I never did get why Coulter brought in three gangs to claim Nuka World. I mean, he had us. Don't need the rest. You sound so nervous. Don't sound so nervous, bro. I mean, I'm just stealing all your food, your napkins, and your utensils. It's all good. Oh. 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 Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, because having a shooting range in the room that you're all sitting and eating is a smart idea. I'm I'm all for guns as much as the next guy, but uh, in a fucking house, you'd all be deaf. Your ears would be bleeding. <laughs> That's just not how guns work, people. Shooting in a house is bad for your ears. Understand Sound you bounces off walls, hard. then bounces you know right back in your head. <laughs> it don't feel good. Don't do that. <laughs> Uh, I just took some burnt books there, but at this point, I'm totally okay with it because I'm so overweight. Uh, just carrying all of this junk from each one of these boss like area rooms. Eh. Uh, so this is their their living quarters, I suppose. However, guys, it is getting to that point where it is time to wrap it up here. So episode 731, we got to talk to the operators. We've talked to the disciples. The operators seem so far a slightly more reasonable option than than the other one. I mean, they're all crazy and they're all evil, but one, like, just strewns dead people from the ceiling That's because it's fun. And then I guess the pack's gonna be, like, super crazy, but the operators, at least, I don't know. They kind of dress up like normal people. I'm not saying they're good people, but... They're, they're, <laughs> I feel like they might be slightly better <laughs> than, than the other group so far. But that's where we are. We're gonna talk to the pack leader next. So that should be fun. But anyway, guys, wrap it up here, episode 731. Thank you dudes all for watching, and I'll see you next time.